knocked it in the creek, had to take a drop. Maybe the best drive of the day. Not great. And guess what, my first birdie of the day. So today I'm playing the tees all the way forward. I'm trying to see how low I can go. First hole's 266 yards, I've got a three wood. Not sure if it'll be enough to get there, but it should be close. Fading a little right. Could have sworn my ball was gonna be short, but it turns out it's actually on the green. A long uphill putt for Eagle on the first. That read was way, way off. That is not how I wanted to start this. I'm trying to not start this off with a three putt. So I really want to make this putt bad. I think it turns a touch to the left. Go, get there, get there. Are you kidding me? One rotation more. I would have had it. Three putt to start the first hole. Not the best way to start. So the second hole, dog leg right, 330. Just trying to get over the creek and then maybe having a chip and a putt for birdie. It's a good swing. So this is a very straightforward pitch shot. I've got my 58 degree here, just trying to land it maybe 10 feet onto the green and let it roll up the rest of the way. It. Okay, it did. This ball's gonna turn slightly to the right, but I'm not gonna take this out of the cup. I'm just gonna try to hit it firm enough to get it like a foot past the hole. Try to give myself a chance to make this. That broke way more than I thought. It's another par. Not the best start. Par five, 450. Water on the left and the right. Drive is the most important shot. A little fade would be nice. Oh, I did not hit the fade. That is straight at the water. So my ball went out on the water right on this line, so I'm gonna take a drop here. And I've got like 170 left of the hole. Clipped. I clipped a leaf on the way by. Straightforward chip. Got to get this up and down for par now. Oh, bad hop because of the airification. But it's still a good shot. My par on a 451 yard par five, which is not good. Par, par, par. I thought this challenge was supposed to be easy, but man, this is uh, proven to be more difficult than I thought. Three pars on the first three holes, drove the first green, three putted. I thought I was supposed to make a lot of birdies in this, and it's not been the case so far. 303 yards off the tee right here. So let's just put one by the green, see if we can get up and down for our first birdie of the day. That is not gonna do it. Get lucky. It got extremely lucky. <laughs> Struggling today. 95 yards left to the pin here. Trying to get this one on the green, trying to give myself a putt and birdie. Sit down, sit. Long birdie attempt, but it is a birdie attempt. Can't be too mad at it, especially after hitting the trees and bouncing out into the fairway. Stay up, oof. A little more break in it than I thought, but great speed. It's another par. This next hole is 333. See if we can put it up and around the green. Again, chip on. Maybe make a putt for our first birdie of the day. Let's try not to hit any trees this time. Maybe the best drive of the day. To me, the hardest part about playing with air fried greens is the chipping. That ball can land and hit one of those holes and just make a crazy bounce. That time the bounce was favorable. And guess what? My first birdie of the day. Woo! Let's keep this momentum going. Seven yards, wind slightly in my face. That'll be the distance. It's just straight down the hill. Still got like 20 feet. Maybe turning a touch to the left.
Uh, it's another 330 par four. There's water on the right, so I'm gonna try to be a little left here. And I was right. Oh man, this is not a good driving day. So I just don't have the best control of my driver today and it's already cost me two strokes. 101 from here, knocked it in the creek, had to take a drop. I have to try to get up and down to save par from 100 yards. Get right, give me a kick. So this putt's gotta go to the right a little to try to save par. Ew. You gotta hit it, buddy. First bogey of the day. Don't love that. If this isn't a metaphor for my bad play, I don't know what is. The ugly ducklings. This hole's playing about 107. Pulled it a touch, but it should be on the green. Got probably 25 feet left on this putt. It's gonna break slightly to the right. Turn. I just pulled that putt a little bit. It's another par. One hole to go. One last chance at birdie. 450 yard par five. Hang in there, ball. It's leaking a little right. All right, 190 left to the hole. And I pulled it so far left. So far left. So I've short-sighted myself here. It's gonna be a really tough up and down for birdie. I need to go. Not great. I think this one's gonna break a touch to the right. One time. Ugh. So I just really didn't have it today. That's all there is really left to say is I just didn't have it. My drives were erratic. My wedge game was bad. I had maybe one good chip. Putting was mediocre. I just didn't make anything. It was just not a good day. I thought this was gonna be like a one-time thing. I'm gonna come out here and shoot four or five under and be like, oh yeah, that's easy. But I think I'm gonna make this a series because I realized the two things that need the most work right now in my game are wedges and driver, especially the driver. And really to shoot low, playing from the front tees, you've gotta have control of your driver. I hit two drives today that resulted in me taking penalty strokes, when really I should just be greenside chipping up relatively close and then tapping it in for birdie. It just didn't happen today. So I think I'm gonna make this a series. If you made it this far in the video, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you want me to turn this into a series. Maybe we'll do like a how low can you go series. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.